Pride and Prejudice tells the story of a young woman who refuses to give up on her search for true love. Starring Best Actress nominee Kira Knightley. He and I are so similar. We've been so stubborn. But Pride. <laughs> you, you really do love him, don't you? Very much. And I understand you were such a fan, Kira, of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice that you really didn't want to take the part. Here we are at the Oscars on the red carpet. Thank God you did. But what was? why wouldn't you want to have that part? Um, I was so terrified. I thought that I'd, I'd mess it up and do it really badly, and she's my favorite character in English literature, and I couldn't take it. Such self-loathing from a beautiful girl. How can that be? No, oh, I don't know. It's a British thing. Now, I got it. The dress is absolutely a knockout. You know in the fashion world, on the day after the red carpet, there is the wasn't she lovely and the what was she thinking category. Did you think about that? You're trying to terrify me. You're trying to terrify me, aren't you? I'm trying to tell you, you made it. Oh, you look so great. Thank you very much. No, it's, it, yes, it's rather nice. I can't actually walk, but I can stand rather well, so it's fine. Well, we'll make sure we get off this camera. Don't move until it's time. Okay. Thank you, Kira Knightley. And for first timers, it was an exhilarating experience. It's, it's, it's very surreal. I just looked around for the first time just back there and got the fright of my life. So I think I'm just going to stay facing this way for a while. But it's great. It's good fun. Welcome back to Live from the Red Carpet at the 70th Annual Academy Awards. The stars are showing up now. There's Kira Knightley. You remember her white Valentino recently? Well, here she is in a beautiful, deep, I think, what is that? Purple, burgundy, beautiful. Her hair is very soft, a little lighter tonight. She looks gorgeous. And yes, the stars, they are showing up. I believe George Clooney has also arrived. We just saw him on the red carpet a couple minutes ago, showing up, which is so good. Claire Behar right. decided the hair, and Cheryl Riddle did the it's hair. Fabulous. Paul Starr did the makeup, and, and of right. course, Fred Layton did the jewelry. Well, and, it's divine. Yeah. It's divine. <laughs> Thanks a million. Okay. Oh, I'm you sorry. didn't see John, Duncan. Hello, Duncan. Did you move forward? Duncan, you're fabulous. Back to you, Juliana. Oh, look at Kira. No, I'm so thank, sorry. About thank that. you, Isaac. Yes, there is Kira. I mean, I am telling you, there have been some beautiful women on the red carpet, but my goodness, it's going to take a lot to top Kira Knightley. Kind of vampy tonight, the smoky eyes. I've seen her with the smoky eyes a couple times lately. I think she realizes it works for her because she looks gorgeous. Now I'm regretting I didn't smoke my eyes out. And look at her gorgeous necklace. Oh, my gosh, who is that? I can't wait to ask her. And I'm sure, oh, my God, check out the ring. Why does this ring have to go back in the morning? Isaac. Don't hold up anything. Eyes. Hello, Isaac. Isaac. Oh, hi. How, How are you, are sweetheart? You, darling? It's good to see you. Isaac, now you're right up front. Yes, and I you've am. seen Kira Knightley. Does yes. she look as beautiful right in front of you? It's something unbelievable. Yeah, she looks so unbelievable. I mean, you know, honestly, I think she's a little like angel. She's so young. And like when you're that young, there's like very little you have to do except just show up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> really, really lucky. I believe she's about 21. If not, I don't even, I, I think she's about to turn 21. Can you believe that? That is so unbelievable. And here she is with sort of red hair. Did you notice? She's sort of um, a redhead now. I noticed she did the lighter look. This is unreal. I do wonder if she's doing that for a role. Oh, look who it is. It's you. It's the George Clooney. How do you do? I'm good. Are you all right? That's a very stylish tuxedo. I'm, I'm very stylish. Did you have that made for this? Kira, Kira Knightley is uh, down there with Isaac Mizrahi. Oh, Here we she are. is just to Darling, really look at you. Hello. Look at you. Hello, hello. And now you're turning into like a strawberry blonde. Is there some... Am I? Yes, you are. Is there like a reason? Is there a role you're working on that's, that you're doing? No, it was for Pirates of the Caribbean. It was. Yeah, I think the last time you saw me, and my roots were coming through, which that's is why, why it was less strawberry which blonde. Which was so chic, which was oh, so absolutely. chic. <laughs> now, speaking of chic, darling, what is it that? It's crazy, isn't it? It's, it's a, It's a 1960s Bulgari neck. Darling, yeah, darling, not the bad. dress. The dress is who? It's you know? Vera Wang. It's beautiful. Thank you what very a much. color on you. Thank you. Now, let me ask you, when was the last time you actually went shopping for clothes? Do you actually go oh, yesterday. shopping? You did, what did you buy? Um I bought I bought lots of t-shirts and things. Uh, did you? Yeah, it was anything, so good though. Anything specifically that you love? Um look, t-shirts by Clue. Clue? Yeah. Who knew? I have a question for you. This is a burning question. 
What is Tom Ford whispering to you on the cover of Vanity Fair? Oh, now that would be telling. <laughs> no, you must tell. No, I won't so, tell. It's very, very naughty. Something it is, very, isn't very it? Naughty. It's fantastic. I think it's something that you, I think that you don't need to hear being the age you are. I think no, you're underage probably not. It, it, no, it's probably outrageous. Is there someone who, who, who told you, don't do it, don't do it, keep your clothes on? No, nobody. Everybody just went, oh, that's fantastic. Go on. <laughs> yes. Right, exactly. So you did it. Absolutely. Did. Why not? I don't know. I don't remember. Have you taken your clothes off in any movies before? Yeah. You have which They're going to start paying me to keep my clothes on. Oh, you it's see? It's ridiculous. You yeah, see that? Sorry. Oh, that's really funny. Um, what is the first thing you'll do tonight if you win? Well, I don't think I will, so I haven't got a clue. Oh, come on. You better plan something, darling. Really? Yeah. Is well, like I'm going to party any either way. Are you? Oh, definitely. Okay, I want where are you dancing. Going? Tell me where you're going after this. Um, I, I don't know. I don't, don't know. know. I'm, I'm, I'm following oh, other you're people. you're booked and booked and booked. How hilarious. So, um, is there any person that you listen to for career advice? Like, is there someone who says, oh, don't do that part, it's not a good part? No, not really. No. I mean, my agent, but, but no, nobody ever goes, no, definitely don't do that. Right, 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 right. But is there someone who says, like, do do this? No, no only me, no really. One. There Sorry. Isn't, you don't have a no, mentor. I get, no, but I get good advice from family and agents. Well, how about that? That's so, divine. Yeah, that's all right. Well, darling, good luck. Thank you very much. This is your first of many, I'm sure. <laughs> and Ryan is up there in the tower just salivating, I'm sure. Say hi to Ryan. Fantastic. Hey, Ryan. Oh, hi, Kira. I mean, that is the perfect woman right there, Isaac. Yeah, I agree with you. Absolutely perfect. Wow. Pe perfect. At 21, you're 21 years old. Not kidding. Every, every man standing up here watching the monitor just goo goo ga ga. No, I think it's very important that a girl doesn't know how many carrots she's wearing. They said, do you want to know how much? I went, no, thank you, actually. I'm fine. Makes you nervous. Exactly. I'm just pretending it's from Urban Outfitters or something like that. It kind of calms me down. In honor of their big day, we gave each of Oscar's Best Actress nominees a Kodak EasyShare Dual Lens Digital Camera, complete with their initials in $20,000 worth of Quiat Diamonds. But first, Dame Judi Dench needed a little lesson. Oh, it's a digital camera. How fantastic. Yeah, so you just turn it around like that. I certainly will. You, are. you probably want a picture of me, don't you? And that's been. yours. That's Crazy. So you wow. are a winner tonight no matter what happens. Yeah, man, I've got a camera. That's fantastic. And you got a picture of you and me. And I've got a picture of you and me, which is the most important <laughs> thing. And you want to know how to steal Kira's photo flawless fashion for less? Gorgeous taffeta fabric. It had a fan detail at the bust and a beautiful fishtail bottom. That dress had to be tens of thousands of dollars. Gorgeous Vera Wang dress. But we here at ABS are going to make that dress for $350. Not you're looking fantastic. So tell me exactly what it is you're wearing. Um, I'm wearing lots of, you got to see this, lots of vintage Bulgari um, and, and Vera Wang. And this looks lovely. Can you just give it a quick twirl? A quick twirl. How did you choose what dress you were going to wear tonight? Um, it was actually the first one I tried on. Um, I don't know, they brought lots of dresses over, about ten of them, and I went, oh, that's nice. And so that was it. There are lots, going to be lots of 20-year-old girls back home watching this, just uh, only imagining what must be going through your mind right now. How are you feeling? Oh, nothing. I'm, I'm completely... Uh, there's nothing going through my mind at all. I'm like a glass of water. There's just nothing there. God forbid your name doesn't get read out, but if it doesn't, who, who would it be? Who would you go um, for? I, I think, oh, 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 I don't know. Um, I want Philip Seymour Hoffman because I thought Capote was fantastic. Mind you, all of them are fantastic. It's a really difficult choice. Um, Reese Witherspoon I thought was great. Felicity Hoffman was pretty amazing as well, so I'd go for, you know, I don't mind. It's, it's not legal for you to drink in this I country. I know, how outrageous is that? Can you imagine trying to get here and walk this red carpet without having a drink? It's it's unbelievable. Now, if Reese Witherspoon does win, yeah. what, you've got a prime what kind of face are you going to do? Because you know when they have that thing where the camera kind of go, locks in on I don't know. Can you do this? Can you go like really get really cross? Right. And then go, oh, what? That's outrageous. And then maybe, Should I do that? That would be really then good. Then maybe right get there. up and then leave. Do you know what? I might not, but, but thanks for the tip. And how are you going to celebrate if you win? I don't know. I'm just going to a lot of parties afterwards and hopefully make a complete... I, I, I'll make an idiot out of myself on some dance floor somewhere. Let's have a quick reminder of the best of British. They said that the house was open for visitors. I had, I had no idea. May I see you back to the village? No. I'm very fond of walking. Yeah. 
thrilled, adrenaline, what is it? Yes, all of that. Um, and much more. No, it's very surreal. It's fantastic, yeah. When you say it's surreal, what's going through your mind? Nothing. I'm like a glass of water. I've gone a bit vapid all of a sudden, and actually there isn't. I'm just sort of looking around at everything going, whoa, this is odd. But apart from that, that's it. Um, do, you, do you think that the film has a great chance of really making a mark tonight? I don't know. You know what? Um, we never thought we'd get any nominations at all. So it's just so fantastic to have them. And I don't think we can really ask for more than that. Um, it's going to be a good party afterwards, whatever happens. Is this your first trip to the Oscar red carpet? Yeah, it is. It is. I've never been here before. Weird. So weird, but good. Would you say it, it, it surpasses your expectations? Um, I don't know what my expectations were. Um, but yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, it, it is quite extraordinary. Nice to see lots of people dressed up. I always like that. What can you say about your dress and your jewellery? Right, um, it's, a, it's a Vera Wang dress and um, vintage Bulgari jewellery from the 60s, I think. Did you have a hard time picking it out? Um, no, not really. I had about 10 dresses and this was the one that kind of felt right. So I've gone with that. Congratulations. Thank Good luck. Thanks a lot.